When you're integrating your console as part of either a shared system or as part of a larger installed system, you'll have to consider how your SD9 is clocked. The synchronization of the console is set using the sync panel found in the setup menu on the master screen. It's possible to clock your console internally, which is the default setting when starting a new session and when your console is being used standalone. Or, there are four choices for external synchronization. When a valid external sync source is detected, a green OK will appear next to the appropriate port in the sync panel. If you are using a master clock that generates word clock, then plug the word clock into the rear of the SD9 and select word clock in the sync panel. This is the simplest form of external synchronization and is probably the most common external sync method used. It is also possible to clock the console to either of the CAT5 DRAC ports or to the incoming MADI stream. If you're sharing a rack with another console, you may be the receive only or slave console. In this case, the other console is likely to be the clock master, providing sync to the shared rack. In this instance, it's necessary to set the slave console to get its sync from the shared rack. If you're using DRACs, then this sync will be from the CAT5 port being used. If you've shared one of the standard Digico MADI connected racks, then the sync will come from the MADI port. Ultimately, a correctly clocked system doesn't happen by accident. It must be designed. But the wide range of external clocking options provided caters for every eventuality.